first look at MIUI 11 Masic ROM based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at MIUI 11 Masic ROM based on Android 10 with security patches 1st of October 2019 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Do note this is a port of this ROM from the Xiaomi Mi 8 and all credits to our developer Dima for porting this to the POCO F1. Out of the box it does come with Arter kernel so you have a pretty good kernel baked into the ROM and another thing you would like to note is that this build is pre-rooted but you do need to install magisk manager because that is not installed out of the box and safety net also passes now as you can see the notch is not perfect you know the alignment is not perfect but it is what it is it's not too bad and i'm pretty sure down the line they're gonna fix this and of course make sure you read the pinned comment because any patches which come out will be mentioned in the pinned comment other than that there are no issues with the camera Xiaomi's camera works absolutely fine with portrait shots, 4K 60fps, front camera, rear camera, everything works absolutely fine. There are no issues with the fingerprint scanner as well. So both Godex and FPC fingerprint scanners work like a boss along with face unlock. What is missing is dual status bar. So you do not have dual status bar mod on this MIUI 11 Masic ROM for the POCO F1. Also just to add I will try to cover as many features as possible and I will try to only mention the features which are new in this or the features which have been added by Masic ROM. The features which are already present in MIUI 11 for the POCO F1 will not be mentioned and another thing is that of course I am human and I might miss out some features which Masic ROM has added so do let me know about those via comments below. So we'll go into settings and nothing much to talk about in my device sim card and mobile networks wireless lan bluetooth connection and sharing you do have me share so this is something which xiaomi has been working with other chinese manufacturers wherein it will allow you to share files with devices from vivo realme xiaomi itself oppo so already baked into the rom is me share then we can go into always on display and lock screen here you need to make sure that you do not and i repeat do not enable ambient display because ambient display is not meant for POCO F1 because it has a LCD display. So you have to ignore all these options until you reach the lock screen settings option. So raise to wake is working, double tap to wake is working, double tap to lock on launcher is working, smart cover mode, well I do not have a smart cover to check but we can always check double tap to wake. So double tap and bam working like a boss. Next we can go into display and in display you do have the display size option which will let you change the font. You have three options extra small, small and large. Reading mode is not working on this build. It is broken and I guess it's been broken on all me UI Android 10 ports for the POCO F1. You do have dark mode in the building along with the toggle for global dark mode something which is missing in the official me UI 11 build for the POCO F1 and you also have this extra option which says maximum brightness during calls. This option is also new and has been added by Masic. And then you have this pretty cool feature called system animation. So what is this? So let's say I'm scrolling right. Have a look at how the other options are appearing at the bottom and at the top. They're appearing in a wave form. You can choose different options over here. So we can let's say choose scale, right? So here it is. That is how the scale option looks like and you do have other options as well and they are linear and fold then you have interpolation i'm not sure what this does but you do have two options for this linear and bounce then we have customizations in notch and status bar so you do have the option of hiding the notch this is somewhat broken not perfect right now but again as i mentioned pretty sure it's going to be improved down the line now what is new here is the customizations for the status bar so how many toggles do you want to see in minimized shade and how many do you want to see in expanded shade so right now it is set to six and four so this is how your minimized shade looks like we have six icons and if i expand it they change to 
four icons you can always go ahead and change it so let's say for minimized we change it to three and for expanded we change it to six so right now this is your minimize so if we have three icons if we expand it it is six you also have a toggle for colored notification icons in case you want colored notification icons and of course battery percentage indicator is also there and the notification shade shortcut so right now it is set to settings if i swipe down we have the settings gear icon you can always change it to search swipe down and it changed to search then you also have toggles for dual network icon hide alarm icon and hide bluetooth icon in the status bar next up we have sound and vibration so in sound and vibration you do have xiaomi's dynamic ringtones which they have added with miui 11 but you also have an option called default adjusting volume so you can choose between ringtone or multimedia what this does is this is what controls what is changed when you use the volume rockers to change the volume so right now it is set to multimedia so if i'm using the volume rockers to change the volume the multimedia volume is going to change you can see that the icon is of music however if i go back into settings and then sound and vibration and change this option from multimedia to ringtone now when i use the volume rockers you will see that it is changing the ringtone volume which is signified by the bell icon next up in sound and settings if you go into additional settings you do have extra toggles for enabling or disabling charging sound and low battery sound and you also have the option of music management so if you enable this you can manage the music by long pressing the volume keys when screen is locked so you can set the time delay what do you want to do with volume up do you want next previous stop or none and what do you want to do with volume down again the same options next previous stop or none so this is basically controlling your media using the volume rockers when your display is locked next up we have notifications in notifications if you go into notification shade you have the option of notification folder so this is where if you enable this all unimportant notifications will appear in a separate folder so all you have to do is enable this option and you also have customization to show the app icons or not you have a toggle for that this is something which is again added by Masic ROM and it is not part of MIUI 11 stable build which was rolled out for the POCO F1 then we have home screen in home screen the new option or the option which Masic ROM has added is icon size so you have different sizes of the icon which you can choose you can actually choose between five different icon sizes so you have extra small small medium large and extra large once you decide whatever size you want to use all you need to do is click on apply and your launcher will restart and here it is bam we have the large icons in the building other than that in home you also have customization for blurring app previews showing the memory status and in advanced you have app tile in two lines if you want to hide the app title if you enable this your applications will appear without the name so the name or the title of the application disappeared once we enabled that option and you also have a toggle to enable or disable icon shadows then we have the themes options so for this we'll rather open the themes application which comes baked into the rom you can click on my account and then this is the theme which comes baked in with Masic ROM. You can of course download more from Xiaomi store. As for wallpapers, these are the wallpapers which come baked in. Now, if you go into live wallpapers, you will see that there is nothing over here. And if you go into my video wallpapers, initially there will be nothing. However, you can always record a small video and then click on this plus sign and then add whatever video you want to add. And then you can set it as your home screen and as your lock screen wallpaper and it is working absolutely fine other than that you can always you know change your ringtones add more fonts and if you're going to customize theme you have all these different options however i recommend that you do not and i'm saying do not use the option of boot animation and boot audio because i tried using these two options and when i applied a custom boot animation and a custom boot audio my phone went into a boot loop and i had to flash the rom again then in settings we have password and security so fingerprint for both GoodX and fpc users is working absolutely fine as i mentioned earlier face unlock is also working absolutely fine you can configure your location privacy options authorization and revocation emergency sos all these options are working absolutely fine in passwords and security then you have battery and performance and here you do have ultra battery saving mode something which 
Xiaomi forgot to add in me UI 11 stable build for the Poco F1 and in case you want to know more about what this option does feel free to pause and read however if you just click on ok it will switch your phone into like a dumb phone mode right so the dark theme will be enabled you will be able to make phone calls send messages however if you want to add an application you just click over here and then you can add an application and you should be able to use that in the ultra battery saving mode as well when you want to exit it you need to click on this icon on the top right and there it is ultra battery saver mode was turned off then we have additional settings so you have customizations for your date and time and you have language and input and these are the languages which are baked into Masic ROM. there is an application which will let you add more languages in case you want to and i will leave that in the pinned comment as well you do have gboard which is baked into this rom and if you go into full screen display you can choose between the old school navigation bar which i'm using right now or you can use xiaomi's full screen gestures you do not have access to android 10 gestures on this build another thing you will notice is that all these sub options have icons right beside them on the left so on miui 11 stable you don't have icons beside these options so date and time languages and input they don't have the colorful icons which we have here so i'm pretty impressed with what massic rom has done here to you know keep the ui in sync and those icons or colorful icons can also be seen in apps so if you see here that you have system app settings manage apps you do have the icons right beside them as well now while we are in additional settings you will notice that the option to change the region is missing however if you search over here and then type in region you will get the option to change the region so additional settings and region you can of course change your region from here in case you want to then you have screen time so instead of digital well-being which was found on the miui 11 stable build in this miui 11 port or masic rom we do have screen time which is xiaomi's own implementation of digital well-being it's pretty similar but it's not exactly the same as digital well-being if you go into special features you do have game turbo so you do have the blue version of game turbo and not the yellow version and you also have quick replies again something which xiaomi did add with me ui 11 stable on the poco f1 and you do have me ui lab for experimental xiaomi features other than that if you go back to the home screen and try to access the app vault you will see that we do have the new app vault in the building again something which is missing in the me ui 11 stable build for the poco f1 and you do have the step counter working like a boss as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which i got on this build and of course google play store is baked in so you can go ahead and download your chrome gmail application all those features are working absolutely fine and even after rooting safety net is a pass there it is peeps that was our first look at Masic ROM based on Android 10, MIUI 11, running like a boss on the Xiaomi Poco F1. And that will do it for this video, peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.